time in our lives where we haven't seen this degree of investment from a state government uh, ever before in our history. A $73 billion program over the next four years. 41 and a half billion of that 73 into roads and transport. It means we need to work really, really um, consistently and efficiently across government. It's our commitment to give you as much certainty as we can about what we have in front of us. Infrastructure New South Wales oversees a major assurance regime, key gateway checks, independent experts throughout the life cycles of all the projects you're going to be hearing about today. That means that when they come to you, they come to market, they've been appropriately de-risked by our team of experts. We don't necessarily want to constrain ourselves to technology that's available in the transport space now. This is one of the reasons for coming out to industry. There are other experiences, there are other technologies that come from other domains. It's taking that smart technology and bringing it to transport applications. We have a job to do with Sydney Trains and our traditional rail infrastructure. Because you look at the opportunity we have. Yes, we've got double decks. Yes, it's going to be a bit slower to board and alight. But we're going to knock the socks off of capacity. Forget 46,000 customers per hour. Just think what you can do with Metro West and Sydney Trains with the new signalling system. We'll be able to shift millions of people around. We'll continue to run these sessions. The request from you is that you engage pretty heavily today, that you give us your feedback. Whatever we do need to do to continuously improve these, um, let us know and don't be shy. Well, it's absolutely crucial that we engage with our stakeholders, not just in infrastructure projects, but in service projects as well. So the planning component obviously leads on to the infrastructure projects. And for future transport, we want to hear from a really diverse, broad range of our stakeholders. So that includes community, industry, business, but really importantly, given that we are planning for a 40-year horizon, we really want to hear from the 18 to 35-year-old demographic. After all, we are planning for their future and it's important that we get an understanding of what their service needs are and what their expectations are. Yeah, it's really important to gauge with our stakeholders and events like this are all about building relationships and getting to understand each other. Everybody needs to know what each other wants, how we can do things better, how we can be more efficient and get better outcomes for all the people. So I really enjoy things like this. There's lots of really interesting people around. They get to know us. We build up long-term relationships and I think it's a success for all of us. For us, uh, over the last few years, the increasing engagement with industry gives us a much better idea about what's coming in the horizon. I find them particularly useful because it's a great opportunity to connect with the leaders that we have within our sector and ask the questions that we don't maybe get the opportunity to ask face to face otherwise. Yeah well Sydney Trains really is now growing at such a fast rate and we need our stakeholders, our private sector suppliers working with my engineers and my team in partnership to ensure that we can innovate move forward for the future and get more capacity because that's what we need in Sydney trains and New South Wales training. I think the real opportunity for engaging with industry is actually about um, gaining industry's insights, industry's expertise and pulling that into our project to deliver innovation. We really need to work together and collaborate in order to move into that new, those new spaces and to drive that new technology and new ways of doing things. I just don't see us being able to do it without industry um, and collaborating properly together.